Today we're going to be talking about UTM and Crystal Fetch, two amazing apps that you can download. UTM is uh, located at mac.getutm.app. Um, you can download it. You can get it from the Mac App Store. Highly recommend getting it from the Mac App Store and supporting this wonderful virtualization app. You can see here that it's $9.99, far cheaper than something like um, VMware Fusion or Parallels, and just as powerful if you are looking to spin up a very basic virtual machine. I use virtual machines on a regular basis to test software and other utilities without having to worry about running them on my local computer. So let's talk about how this works and getting it set up. I've already purchased a UTM and I've already have I already have it installed on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And by the way, I'll put the link for all this stuff in the description. All right, so we can see here that I've already created a Windows virtual machine and a Mac virtual machine. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how they work, and then I'm gonna create a new virtual machine and just walk you through the process of creating a virtual machine for each type of operating system. All right, so for the Mac, I'm just gonna go ahead and press play and start it up. See, I'm running the Sonoma virtual machine on Sonoma here. So I'm going ahead and I'm logging in and I'm doing this all virtually through the UTM app. So it runs very nicely in this contained window here. I can shut it down. I can pause. I can suspend. I have different keyboard or a, a capture input devices. I can go full screen, different USB devices, disk image, etc. So lots of great features. Just going through the settings here. It's very similar to something like VMware Fusion where we can set display, sound, and input. And then within the VM machine itself, we have options that you can look at. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down so that we can take a look at the preferences per virtual machine are only available when the virtual machine is shut down, not while it's running. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the settings so in this view we can uh, delete the virtual machine we can duplicate it we can move it we can share it run it and then these are the settings here wonderful settings we can we can change the cpu cores we can modify the boot the virtualization sharing options display network and the drives you can see here that i've got a 64 gig drive and um, lots of other options here as well. So very streamlined set of settings, just enough for what you need to run a quick virtual machine. You can also add additional hard drives if you want to right on the fly. You can set it to be removable or not. You can import settings that you've made before and hit create. So it's very simple and easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and just boot up my Windows environment. Again, just so you can see how it loads. And then I'm going to go through the process of creating a Mac virtual machine. And then I'll create a Windows virtual machine as well. And I'll show you how to get those operating systems loaded with a very minimal effort. Again, love this utility. It's a pretty awesome way of virtualizing on Mac OS. All right, so just logging in here on the Windows computer. Again, just to show you what it looks like, how it feels. Same set of buttons up above. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so I'm going to shut this down. And now let's walk through the process of setting up a virtual machine. It's very simple. All right, now that's shut down, let's go ahead and create a virtual machine. So I'm going to click on Virtualize, and I'm going to choose. We have three different options to choose from, plus we can add custom options if we want to as well. And some of the really cool features of this app uh, is that it actually has a gallery that we can we can check out. So if I reopen the app here, it can actually browse the UTM gallery, which is a really nice feature. We can actually see all the different 
operating systems that you can emulate. So you can emulate um, Ubuntu, you can emulate old school Mac OS PowerPC, which is really fun. You can emulate Windows XP, Windows 7, various different flavors of Linux. So a very cool utility, very easy to use. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of the gallery. Let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. I'm gonna virtualize Mac OS. And it gives us the option to import an IPSW. And if you don't import the IPSW, what it's going to do is it's going to download it for you. I'm going to set the hardware, CPU cores, storage. I'm just going to go with the defaults. I'm going to call this Mac OS 2. That's fine. And what this is doing now is it's fetching the installer and it's setting up the virtual environment. So while this is running, because it's gonna take eight minutes to run, I'm gonna go ahead and add another VM, and this time we're going to choose Windows. And with Windows, in order to get the file that we need to use a, another tool called Crystal Fetch, and Crystal Fetch is made by the makers of UTM, and Crystal Fetch can be downloaded over on the Crystal Fetch Hub repo. And I'm going to walk you through how to use Crystal Fetch to get a copy of Windows 11 downloaded so that we can import it into the UTM application. So we're going to go ahead and do that while we are building the Mac VM. So we're just going to press continue. Oh, we have to create the boot image. Sorry, I skipped ahead there. So we're going to open Crystal Fetch. And it's going to ask us what version of Windows we want to download, what architecture we are running it on. We are on a silicon, and we just simply press download and accept. And now what this is doing is it's downloading Windows, and it's going to output this to a file that I can then import on this step. And then when we boot into that boot, file, it'll give us the option to install as if we had put a CD right into the drive of a formatted computer. All right, so we are downloading Windows here. I'm going to go ahead and press cancel. We have two seven minutes left on the Mac OS. So we're just waiting for Mac OS and Windows to complete. So I'll just keep these running side by side. And we'll probably fast forward the video a little bit so we can get over this part a little bit sooner. All right, so now it's finished downloading. It's going to generate the boot file. Let's just check up and see how we're doing on the Mac OS side. Looks like two minutes left remaining on Mac OS. All right, so now we're going to save this. I'm going to save it to the downloads folder. That's totally fine. And now we have a boot file in the downloads folder. So let's go ahead and add that Windows VM. We're going to browse for that ISO file that we just created. And we are going to leave these two items pre-checked. And we're going to set the defaults just again so we can show you what the options are. It's very similar to how we ran through this on Mac. I'm going to go ahead and just press play here, and it's going to ask us to boot into the volume. So we're in the start boot option, so press any key. We're booting from the CD slash DVD at this point, right? That disk image, that ISO file does in contain the boot sequence needed to execute the installation of Windows 11 in the empty virtual machine hard drive that we set up in the preferences right before we booted. Setup is starting. Now we're just going through the welcome to Windows 11. So it says here, do you have a product key? I'm gonna say, I don't have a product key. It's going to ask us what version we want to install. I'm gonna say pro. And then we're gonna press next, I accept. And next, that's the hard drive we want to use. It's going to go ahead and start installing Windows in the virtual disk that we created. And it's going to go pretty fast here because it shouldn't take much effort to do this. 
since everything is virtual. All right, so we're installing the features and we're installing the updates. All right, so now it's going to go ahead and reboot. I'm going to go ahead and press restart now just to speed up the process here. All right, so now we've restarted and we are loading Windows, the Windows that we just installed. It's going to walk us through the Welcome to Windows wizard. We'll create a user. And then we will be done. Then I'll go ahead and switch over to Apple. We can see that Apple or the Mac has finished uh, downloading the operating system, and I'll boot that up and, and show you how to set that up as well. All right, so now we're starting up in Windows 11. Just a moment. And here we are at the welcome screen. I'm going to go ahead and just get through this wizard as fast as we can so we can jump over to the Apple side. Shouldn't be any updates because we uh, downloaded the installer recently. All right, so just went through a reboot cycle. And we're back at the welcome screen. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my name, password, and going to have to set some security questions. So just putting in some dummy answers there. Checking for updates once again. And now logging us into the computer. And of course, during this process, it will show you a screen that says, hey, this might take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for this to finalize the setup process. All right, so now we are in. We're in Windows 11, as we can see here. We are logged in. And this is the Spice guest tool. So these are the utilities needed in order for the virtualization software to work in the operating system. So I'm just going to go ahead and install those. And it's going to automatically prompt you to do so. This allows the UTM app to interact with the operating system. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot now. All right, so I just rebooted. I'm just going to go ahead and log in one final time just so you can see what it looks like. All right, and now I'm logged in. So I can go ahead and shut this down. And let's go through the process of showing you how to set up the Mac OS. Now, the Mac OS was downloading in the background, and it didn't take any effort on our part. We just pressed the went through the wizard, and it downloaded the operating system, and now we're at the play screen, so we can just go ahead and press play and OK. All right, so we're still waiting for the UTM, and the nice thing about the interface here that we're seeing at the top where it says UTM we're seeing the installation progress at the top where it says installation 90%. So that tells us how far along we are in the process of getting the Mac OS environment set up. All right, so it has finished installing. And here we are. Welcome to the computer. All right, let's get started. Pick a language. All right. Going through the setup screens here. We don't want to do any migrating, so not now. Don't want to do the Apple ID, so later skip. Terms of service, agree, and let's create an account. All right, so we are getting through the account setup process. It was just that simple. Press play, wait for the progress at the top of the screen, and boom, it booted us right into the Apple or right into the Mac and gave us the ability to go right to the wizard. We didn't need to see the installation progress bar like we did on Windows. It just did that behind the scenes for us, which is a really nice feature. All right, just getting through this. Welcome to your Mac wizard so that we can see. And here we go. We are now logged into the Apple computer. Very simple. Just a few keystrokes or a few button presses to get a virtual machine set up. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. All right, so again, this is a brief walkthrough of how to use UTM, how to use Crystal Fetch to get Mac OS and Windows computers set up in a virtualized environment on your Mac computer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, so if you love this video and you want to see more great content like it, please check out my LinkedIn page.
connect with me, follow me over there. Also, please hit that bell button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.